Welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing? Thanks so much for being here. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I thought I would change things up a little bit <coughs> and try something new. So we're actually going to be coming in here. Uh, it's just going to be me versus three AI uh, players. Uh, put them on a, a really hard setting and uh, we'll see how we fare. So right away you guys are seeing our Blackhawks are taking a lot of fire. Uh, we're trying to uh, land some troops in here so we can capture some of these uh, buildings and allow us to have better positioning for the rest of the match. And there you guys are seeing a Russian uh, Mi-8 helicopter there firing already at some of our infantry coming in here who came by just regular transports but the nice thing is these Blackhawks actually do have uh, some firepower so that's kind of cool there you go another Mi-8 got hit by anti-air there but the Russians did come with their own anti-air here Receiving heavy fire from the Russian anti-air, causing our Blackhawk helicopters to uh, spin out of control. This one helicopter is taking crazy fire. And there you go. Just like that, the Blackhawks are trying to hightail out of there. They uh, did deliver their payload, so that's good. Cinematic HUD, by the way, if you guys uh, didn't know. It's kind of cool, you can kind of just jump around the map, seeing different things that are happening here. We go another MIA again taken out there. Now obviously there's a tactical uh, display here where you can actually see all your units. You can click on the information, uh, check out the statistics and stuff and what they can and can't do, which is pretty cool. But you guys are seeing that the AI force here is actually pushing pretty hard uh, into our right flank center here. But we do have some fire teams in the woods trying to ambush these T-55s, which uh, these T-55s are kind of similar to the M-60s that the Americans come with. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of information on there. You guys are seeing our H-1F Cobras taking out this T-55. But to show you guys, we're coming in here with the 8th Infantry Division and we're going against the 35th, 39th and the KDA on the enemy side of things. So they have a pretty uh, wide arsenal to choose from to go against us. I mean, I think they have an upper hand against us, but... Uh, so, yeah, I got some infantry in here in the woods. We're going to have a pretty interesting uh, firefight going on here between uh, both infantry here. Right now we do have the superior numbers, but probably not for long. You can see the strength and uh, different things that these guys got. Uh, amazing RPGs, by the way. Which they can shoot at infantry, too, to shock them and stuff like that. You guys are seeing a Mi-24 right here. Engaging some of our infantry, which is not great for us. And they got Mi-8 and uh, Mi-24 here, so... But it's uh, trying to get out there currently. We do have some AH-1F Cobras coming in hot. We're trying to take out this T-80, which is, uh, super dangerous for us. This T-80 is just getting hammered right now. Absolutely devastated by those H-1F Cobras. Um, but they're kind of firing at a bunch of stuff all around. A lot of uh, anti-air coming at the uh, Mi-24. It's going to go down. Those are both really expensive units, the T-80 and the Mi-24. You guys are seeing artillery uh, actually dropping in the forest there to kind of suppress the 
Wow, look at the bullets hitting the ground there. That's actually amazing. And that was actually coming from our H1F uh, Cobras. You can see all the little craters in the ground. That's actually a really cool effect. He's pushing up some T-55s here. Engaging our M60. Some really old Russian tanks there. There goes the T-55. And T-34. Also taken out with one shot. And they have this infantry fighting vehicle there that got also smashed. There you go. There goes a T-80. So they're starting to lose a lot more because we're pushing more armor in here. We got an Abrams. Uh, supported by some M60s, which is a good combination because the M60s, I don't really care about losing as much as the Abrams. M Enemy uh, MiG-27M coming in and getting shot down. There you go, got some air combat going on. Fortunately, they shut down our uh, aircraft, but they took losses too. So if you guys look at tactically speaking here, um, we captured the center area here, giving us ourselves a plus three. So we hold Bravo. Uh, let's check this one out right here. Su-25 didn't make it into our territory at all. They were trying to take out, I think, our M60s here. But yeah, taking a look at, tactically speaking here, we're in Bravo heavily. Uh, got a lot of armor pushing up here. We have fighter jets, infantry embedded. I like to use the Bradleys to take these like long snipe shots basically at armor. But we also have some uh, infantry anti-tank units like these Milans here, which are really nice. Here you go F-16, taking shots at the Su-27. F-16 goes down and let's see if the Su-27 gets shot too. Yep. There you go, nice shot there, right in the butt. Resupplying ourselves, really important thing to do. But you guys see, we've kind of uh, hopped over here in this uh, little urban private private sector here, and uh, hopefully we can start to push into the enemy's territory there. So that's um, pretty ambitious for going against three AIs that are set too hard. Um, I wasn't even sure if I'd be able to win. I thought uh, that I would get overwhelmed for sure. The K-50 Akula, which can definitely snipe tanks. It's kind of like the Apache. So definitely gotta watch out for this sucker. He'll definitely take out some stuff. And there you go, he's already shooting at my Milan units there. Already took one out. That's not good for us. We're trying to get more ability to knock out armor because you guys see, well this is horrible, but uh, you guys are seeing T-64s, uh, BRM-1s, and they have a bunch of other tanks over here. T-80s, t 55 A good mixture. Oh, look at that. Uh, I think they're trying to take out that BTR right there. That's our Milan systems firing there. Uh, another K-50 Akula coming in here. Let's see how long they uh, live for. Probably not long. We have really good anti-air here. And that Akula goes down, upside down too. It tried to pull up as uh, it was popping flares and then he got hit right in the belly and uh, taken out. There you go, Russians are firing from their, I think this is uh, probably a T-64. Yep. And right now it's facing multiple tanks, so... Kind of lucky that other... That former vehicle right here that was destroyed was kind of helping it get protected, but in the end, uh, the turret does get popped off the tank, so... The Su-27 and the MiG-23 actually got away there. Actually, no, and the Su just got shot down. MiG-27 taking damage and likely to be shot down too. There you go. Nice counter air operations going there, and you guys are seeing the M60s being active here, pretty much just wiping out any armor that shows face. Seeing a Tunguska destroyed there. They don't have much going on here, and we just unloaded a crap ton of infantry as well as uh, our 
armor vehicles supporting that too. Those bushes. The M113s right here. Good to have. Makes the firepower a lot more uh, uh, effective for the infantry. Uh, we got en engagements going on here in the middle. M60 right here. Taking some shots at the infantry. You guys just saw a uh, anti-tank round fly right over that M60 from the... It's the ground-to-ground -ground missile here. They have really long range. You can actually fire like at under insane duress. And there goes a second missile uh, which missed as well, which is kind of nice for us. We're having some infantry engagements here. The enemy has pushed up some infantry here in this building, trying to kind of recapture this area. Um, and you guys are seeing artillery coming down, but we're pushing up more infantry. Trying to take out this uh, anti-tank gun right here. Which are pretty lethal. The descent. Really interesting uh, anti-tank gun for sure. And right now it's only got one... Uh, right now it's only got one guy pushing the thing. Which is kind of ridiculous, but... If uh, fired upon the infantry, it's uh, pretty lethal. Looks like he's got eyes on somebody. Let's see who he, who he shoots at. <laughs> Nobody. There goes out. Accurate artillery just wiping it out in uh, a few shots. But you guys are seeing they're pushing up some recon and infantry back into the area. There goes our Milan. T try to take a broadside in the T-64, but they miss, unfortunately. I'm uh, pushing up a bunch of uh, infantry here with some M uh, M1 Abrams as well. Got some yellow helicopters in the back, some artillery. We actually pushed up this uh, M270. To kind of inflict any heavy damage if the enemy uh, decides to push, like, uh, really hard. But you guys are seeing right now, it's um, 1700 to 50, so we're doing pretty good. Got a bunch of infantry guys here. Uh, the whole point of this was to try to just ambush and make it difficult for the enemy to push any armor through here. Looks like our infantry is uh, definitely getting uh, pushed pretty hard by these tanks here. First tank got taken out though. And there goes the second one too. Let's see if we can take out this other one as well. Actually no, the uh, other T-64 is still alive. I'm trying to broadside it. There you go. Nice explosion there. I don't know how this tank sees anything. There you go. Another missile going there. Goes high. Unfortunately, a lot of tanks here. A lot of tanks. So, enemies pushing up some... Uh, wow, that anti-air is going to get wiped. There's no way. There comes artillery. Thank goodness. This is quite the scene. Amazing. There you go, there goes that uh, anti-air unit. No way it's alive. Wow, apparently this anti-air unit could take a direct hit from artillery and survive. That's uh, kind of wonky, for sure. But you guys see the infantry is doing its job. Uh, there was five units, now there's three and they're all heavily damaged. Running out of missiles and everything, so I definitely need to supply them if possible. Nice thing, these recons actually have anti-tank capabilities as well. So not much going on over the front line though. Um, pushed up a little further, really close to the enemy's final territory here. I was really shocked that we could even get close to Alpha and you guys are seeing artillery coming in here. But there you have it guys, uh, this is the end result of that match. 9800 kills for us, and 3500 losses, 2000 conquests, enemy didn't do so hot. 
uh, you guys can look at the different specifics. We had some, obviously some units that really put in their money's worth, like the Sabrams here, killing a lot of units. Uh, M60s doing well. Look at this one M60 here, taking out multiple tanks, uh, multiple anti-air infantry, a bunch of stuff. So this was a, all around a pretty good match. Um, I was shocked that I could even do anything offensive. I thought it would primarily be a defensive operation where I'd have to just try, try to hold on to as much as I can. Um, yeah, and honestly, this is obviously not... AI is kind of, you know, it's not on the same level as a human player, but this is a good way to practice if you guys want to sharpen your skills and just your, you know, your macro a little bit. and. Uh, learn how to group units. Uh, one thing I found to be helpful is just kind of grouping battle groups. So, you know, a couple of tanks, a couple of infantry, a little bit of anti-air, um, have a good group together, uh, some infantry fighting vehicles, and they can kind of be a spear of their own, you know, uh, as long as you protect them well enough, and they can do quite a bit. So, yeah, it was fun, and kind of want to see how many AI I could take on all at once, maybe six or seven even, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, thanks to guys for coming out, and spending some of your precious time watching my videos uh yeah well go do something fun uh spend some time outside do something better and i appreciate it guys thanks take care